Welcome, 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 hey. welcome. What it look like? Salute you are now rocking with the best Monster Mondays. I'm your host, Mr. Monster Man Rocco, aka the Rockness Monster, with my co-host, Captain African America, number one. All right, the main gun, Starang Wonder, with my favorite DJ. Oh, he's not here. Wait, wait, now. wait. All right, he's not here today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, he's doing, he's doing, dope, he's somewhere doing dope shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, we're going to hold it down for him like we always do about this time. I'm excited and, um, about today's show, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you excited about today's show? Why are you excited yeah, about today's yeah. show? Got a nice, nice, I know you always say the guests are special, but this is an extra special guest we got today, man. Why? Because wow, this one is special to you, too? It, it, it's because they ain't right, really right, special. Right. Usually you just know me, everybody. Right? Oh, man, I got you. Um, um, so, yeah, we're going to get into that in a little while. Um, I want to talk about something that has me had me fucking crying, tears, laughing lately. And, and forgive me for my ins if you know if i may seem insensitive to some people but you know i am insensitive to some things some things are just fucking funny but um so this is this, this whole tiktok ban strike uh protests going on right now i know you don't fuck with tiktok i don't fuck with tiktok either right you know what i mean i only got enough brain capacity for like three four social medias facebook you know what i'm saying uh uh instagram twitter the YouTube, I'm done, right? I so, do all of those, but not to the capacity it should be. You know what right. I mean? Still a lot of stuff I don't know about those 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 outlets. Yeah, you still stepping your shit up. I got you. <laughs> um fucking but this but tip but TikTok is one like it's popping and you know like I like see it on TV big, all the time. I see it on yeah, commercials all the time. TikTok stuff. is a very big deal, right? So what they do on TikToks, like these songs come out, like a, a popping song will come out. And these dance crazes are born on TikTok. You know, what I mean, TikTok so is like it's strictly for dancing. No, it's not strictly for dancing. It's for all kind of shit. But it's a rest haven for dance craze, uh, crazes. You know, what I mean. So whenever a dope song comes out, somebody will do some dope shit. Who will come up with a dance to it, and it'll catch on like fire. What's been happening is like the people who come up with the dances. For the most part, have been black. From what I'm, from what I'm understanding, right? Because the black people have been the creators of the dances, and what has been happening is white people will, you know, white TikTokers will then jack the dance. They steal a dance and go viral with it. You know what I mean? And get all kind of sponsors and shit because you know, you know, people, you know. The, the world is run by white people, so when sponsorship is comes around looking for people, you know that whatever. Don't I don't, don't I don't I don't want to speculate. Basically, who, basically, these people Elvis Presley TikTok. Right, they they Elvis Presley and TikTok dances, right? And the, and these dances have band together and been like, you know what? This new Meg, so this new Meg The Stallion song came out. It's called Fight Shit, right? And the TikTokers have band together, like you know what? We ain't making no fucking dance. How about that? This is kind of weird and interesting to me at the same time. Hey, like, it is. Because it's like, yo, do all the TikTokers that's on strike, they probably don't even know each other. So what do they do? Uh, they got on Facebook and friended each other and said, hey, we going on strike and what the hell you, is that? Like, you would be surprised. How did that happen? You would be surprised at the at the way these, these youngsters link up and mobilize. Like, they sh like they shut down fucking pro like they shut down fucking who's it? like 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 what do you call the thing like like press conferences and shit by Trump like the millennials done online band together la 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 we buying up all the tickets so don't nobody show up to this fucking no, this generation like, is special oh yeah say. they get busy yeah. like they get so so yeah, this right here is small potatoes if you well, let me like. let me ask you this though right what do the TikTokers want the white people to do? And I don't got no side on this. I'm just curious. Like, what what could fix it for them to cut, not strike? I mean, I think I what what I think was wait wait wait. Because basically, you telling me that these people not stealing it, 
they just they like it and they're doing it on their on their TikTok, but they're getting more followers and stuff. And all yeah, that. but they're not only just they're just not getting followers; they're monetizing it. It ain't just followers; it's money. And a lot of to a lot of people, we don't understand. Like to a lot of old school niggas like us, we think social media is this. The fuck is all this? I'm, I'm from the old school. I don't do all. They look at social media as money because it is. Like we've been on we've been on Facebook, Instagram, and shit for years before we found out we could monetize our own shit. They been knew it, the youngsters. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, this is their generation. This right. Is what they, they grew up on. So. So, so if you if you somebody if you a black content creator and you trying to monetize your shit because fucking ain't no job safe. In, in today's market so you bet on yourself look I, I, the only fucking we went in the pandemic and only people who didn't starve was the creative people and the drug dealers or whatever it's like this is a career you know so if right, you put out this content and somebody jack it don't give you credit and then get paid off of it then you you know it's 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 reasonable for me to understand that they you, you feel a way about that well, if they give them the credit then that would be good because I feel not like doing, not doing other not doing another dance is not the answer. I don't know. Maybe it is. No, it these, is. obviously these people like dancing, so this is what they do. They not gonna want to stop dancing. So yeah, it gotta be a solution for them to. Yeah, but that's know. why. But listen, every time somebody goes on strike, they don't. That's why you don't quit your job. You go on strike niggas give you what you want and then you go back to work you just got to be willing to, to put your you know put your foot down draw the line in the sand because it got to be a way it got to be a solution because the white people can't keep on going on they not making up the dances so then there ain't gonna be no more dances these people want to dance they not going to be seen as dancing and they want to dance so it got to be some kind of solution so what is it that the white people could do to make the black tiktok dancers say uh all right um well that's like cool, i said we're gonna for starters, at least give credit where credit is due. Credit. All right. That's for starters. And like that. Cash app? Like, huh? And the cash and app? The cash app would be dope too. You understand what I'm saying? Bro. So you said they monetize it so they getting paid. Right. You understand so what cash I'm saying? App. Right, right. Bro, you gotta see this shit. I mean, like, like you gotta see what because they're exi- when you when you google this shit you probably some examples of what the white girls are you know what they're the, the examples because they're trying to figure it out on their own right now they're like all right the black you know the the the, the, the black people don't want to make no no nothings all right fuck it turn on the song and they son son bruh i get they, it bruh it's bad they, they But listen, so anybody I'm, who listening and not watching right now, I'm trying to simulate some of the bad dance moves that they trying to make for their TikToks that ain't working out. They like, <sighs> yeah. From what I hear, it's an easy fix, though, man. You know what I mean? Cash app, yeah. You get, you get your money, you cash app the, the the person who created. You tell them keep them dances coming. All right, keep them <laughs> things coming, <laughs> and that's how you do it. And we all, get, everybody could get some money. Man. Keep them dances coming, all right? You can you even start asking for dances and you say, yo, I want a new dance two weeks from now on Friday at 7.31 p.m., all right? Once you start paying for stuff, that's it, man. It's a job. That may, that, that may be a fix. That may work. That may, but it may or may not. We'll see. We'll see. I don't have all the answers. I'm just reporting what I know. And ha- like I said, like, I'm not no expert on none of these topics. You right. understand? It's just, you know, it just says what it is. Um fucking and i apologize if i offend anybody you know what i mean i'm just i'm just calling it like i see it um <clears throat> excuse me just do some shameless plugs i think um so our, our listeners need to know a lot of this shit um they, they not get they only getting half the story we first of all you can find me and all of the shit i'm doing um I'm on Instagram, Rockness BCC. I'm on Twitter, underscore Rockness underscore. I'm on Facebook, Rock of Health Skelter. I'm also on YouTube. We are Monster Nation on YouTube. And to anybody who's listening and not watching, you can find what you're listening to and not watching on YouTube. So you can watch it and listen to it. You understand what I'm saying? YouTube, Monster Nation. We got all of the clips. We got a bunch of clips to this to, to, to this audio right now. You can see 
how, how crazy Strang be looking at me when 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 I say something he don't like, and vice versa. And that's a lot. That and that's a lot, people. <laughs> <laughs> you can see all of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, I want to do that. Also, the um no rockmissbcc.bandcamp.com is where I got all of this dope merch at and shit. You know what I mean? Um, fuck with your boy. <clears throat> Uh, I only got one shameless plug today, man. I'm not even going to plug my own stuff in. My shameless plug is Duck Down Records since 1995. All right? Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Duck Down Records since 1995, man. Speaking right? of Duck Down Records since 1995, our, um, our very special guest today is none other than the great, the grand, the high exalted... The big cheese. Commander in chief of all operations. Mr. Drew High. You know what I yeah. mean? And we're gonna we're gonna get into I <laughs> I get a lot of questions directed at me that really need to be directed at him. I wish we we we, 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 we should have had a phone number set up when niggas call and ask them niggas all And we're gonna ask him who he liked the best because you always saying I get special attention from Drew High. You do bro. get special you do get you special always saying that, man. You do get special treatment. He loves you the Drew same High, way he bro. loves me, bro. All you right? got to find out. How much I wanna bet he say he do? How much you <laughs> 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 All right, we're about to go to break. We'll be back. station. Sure. 